I've tried them all. All of these apps and softwares and everything that you can use to plan and organize your feed on Instagram, I've tried all of it. There's even one video here on the channel in which I talk about the one that I like the most, but still that is not perfect exactly. And after all these testings, I discovered that I could have done everything inside Lightroom, right from the beginning. So worry not, I've got you covered. Yeah, I'm Henry, a Brazilian photographer living in Italy and in this channel we talk about photo, video and tech. And today we're going to talk about this way that we can just organize and do everything inside Lightroom without having to use any kind of third-party app or something like that to plan and organize our feed on Instagram. This is especially useful because sometimes we export the pictures, we put them on some kind of planner like this and only to discover that we need to tweak some colors, we need to tweak some things, so you have to go back into Lightroom, re-export and you're only going to be able to see how they look together when you re-export to the app. So in this case, no, you're going to be able to see everything from inside Lightroom. So let's go inside here, the software. I'm going to show you how to do it because there are some tricks to it. Okay, so here we are inside Lightroom and I have a folder called example pictures that have many pictures and many folders inside. And then in the library, if I just come down here and I click to sort these, they're just the basic sorting methods, which are by date, by time, by, by rating or by pics or this kind of stuff. If you just click and try to drag one picture somewhere else, it's just going to say custom order is not supported on a folder that contains subfolders. Why? I don't know, but there is a way around it, of course. So what we're going to do is we're just going to select all of it. And then we're going to come down here to collections and we're going to create a new collection called test collection, for example. Okay. And we are going to be sure to tick this here, which says include selected photos. Okay. I'm going to create it. It's going to create down here. Okay. And now the view is virtually the same. But if you come down here now, you're going to be able to see custom order. And then this is the trick. So I can just drag this picture, for example, drop it somewhere else. And it's going to invert the position. I can do this for this one, for example, or just maybe this one. I'm going to put it here. These two, I don't want them to be one after the other. After, after all, they're the same picture. I'm not going to post it like that. But anyways, with this way, you can just see your whole feed planned in here. And there is no configuration that says that it's going to be a three columns like it is on Instagram. It's just like that because of the size of the thumbnails that I chose. So for example, if I drag here and I put it to the left, we end up going to be seeing more of them. So ideally, you're going to have the thumbnails on a size that you can see well, but that they keep only three columns, just like on Instagram, so that you can have an idea of what you're doing. And also here on the side panels, if I end up collapsing one of them, it's going to show more and it's not going to be only three columns. So you have to play a little bit with that. It's a little bit of a hack, it's not really official, but it's good at least to see if your colors are matching together or if there's something that is really disturbing that really requires you to go back into the editing and change for them to look well together. One disadvantage of doing this method is that you're not seeing the pictures on the square format, meaning that you're seeing all of them in 4x5, how they're going to look already on the feed when someone is scrolling through, but not on your homepage. One very common thing, and it might be your situation also, is that you don't have all your pictures in the same catalog inside Lightroom. So one of the things that you can do is export these pictures as DNG, as the DNG keeps also the edits that you did, and then import them in just one catalog that is going to serve just for viewing your Instagram feed really and planning things out. All right, guys, I hope this helps in the organization of your feed. And if you use this trick, please let me know in the comments below or tag me on Instagram, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.